Hey everyone, Chris here, Colorado Avalanche Information Center. Bill and I are traveling here in the North San Juan today. Rico Mountains, just west of the town of Rico. We're here on a southeast aspect, just over 11,000 feet. Uh, we're gonna do an extended column test here to evaluate our recent storm snow since Christmas um, because we're finding a couple different uh, crust facet combinations and we also have some newly wind drifted snow here at the surface. That was an ECT1 right below this newly wind drifted snow on some lower density snow at the end of last storm. So in this test, we were able to get propagation and failure uh, right below our newly formed wind slab uh, on some lower density snow at the end of last storm. We didn't get any propagating results on some of these buried crust with weaker snow around. So how's this significant? Well, right behind me on a slightly more east aspect, there's a natural avalanche that most likely started as a wind slab. And once it got going, it stepped down, got a little deeper and failed within the storm slab. So triggering even a shallow, gen relatively soft wind slab has the potential once it gets moving to impact some of these deeper weak layers, making a bigger and larger avalanche.